So what issues can they run on? They can't run on immigration, they'll lose. They can't run on taxes, they'll lose, which is why the Republicans are doubling down now. They're saying, oh yeah, you like that tax cut? Uh, we'll give you another one. The, this is uh, a re really something I find charming about uh, President Trump's political, I, don't, I won't call it naivete, but you know, he's not the subtlest guy in the world, is you know, a really crafty, sophisticated politician. He'd say, okay, how am I gonna package this to look like this and that? Uh, but President Trump, it seems like someone gave him a sheet that said tax cuts popular. He's like, doing more, tax cuts too, more tax cuts. I'll give you more tax cuts because they're popular. It's like, is that really that honest? You know, you know what the strategy is, you know what you're getting. And, and we'll, we'll get to the advantages of that in a second. Um, so they can't run on that, they can't run on the taxes, they can't run on joblessness, which basically doesn't exist. So what are they gonna run on? The sun monster. They're gonna run on the boogeyman hiding underneath the earth that then rises up and threatens to kill us all. They're trying to run on global warming. So uh, fortunately, we can turn now to the thought leader of the Democrat Party to use Steve Hayward's nickname for her, Alexandria Occasional Cortex, who has the American strategy on fighting the sun monster. The last time we had, we had a really major existential threat in this country was around World War II. And so we've been here before, and we have a blueprint of doing this before. We had a direct existential threat with another nation, at this time it was Nazi Germany and the Axis, that when we put uh, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of people to work in defending our shores and defending this country. We have to do the same thing. We, we could cut her there. I've had enough Alexandria occasional cortex. So she said, just that last bit, she says, uh, we, we put hundreds of thousands of people, maybe millions, to work defending our country. 16 million Americans served in World War II. <laughs> just, you'd think if she's going to use this talking point, she would have, like, Googled basic facts of World War II, but that's fine. She says that the strategy to fight the sun monster, the strategy to fight global warming, is the same strategy that we use to fight the Nazis, by which I assume she means evacuate Dunkirk and storm the beaches of Normandy. I, which is, we've never tried that. We've tried capping fuel emissions, we've tried banning certain plastics, but we've never tried evacuating Dunkirk and storming Normandy. So maybe that will work. Maybe that's what they'll do if the Democrats win the House. Ironically, the other strategy that we would use if the, the way to fight global warming is the same as how we fought the Nazis is to collude with the Russians. We could not have defeated the Nazis if we didn't collude with the Russians. And it would be a beautiful about face. It would be Nixon going to China if the Democrats came into the, the House after the midterm elections and they said, you know what we're going to do, guys? We've been wrong about this. Let's start colluding with Russia. Something tells me they're not going to do that, though.